Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here at the shore of Swan Lake, which is actually sounding kind of ducky at the moment because we have a very loud quacking duck behind us. In fact, if you look over there, you can actually see a puppy jumping by the new roots of the willow tree. Do you guys like it? Check it out. Check it out. We have now built the bridge. I told you guys I was going to get that done and I finally managed to do it. It did take a little while too. It took a lot more oak wood than I thought it was going to. And we kind of need to start another like oak wood um, farm. We used to kind of use that spot over there where you have all of those pretty trees as sort of an oak wood farm and an oak leaf farm. And it looks like I'm going to have to use it like that again, even though I love the big, beautiful, pretty leafy trees. Oh, it's such a tragedy to have to cut them down. But you do need the resources from time to time. But yes, yeah, so check it out, you guys. We have done a little bit more work over here. I put down the path so that the path comes straight up to this little bridge. And we have this little enclosed area which I'm going to try. Ah oh, puppy! Are you fighting with that catfish? Look at that big old catfish! Is he fighting with you? Hang on puppy, I'll get you out of there. I don't know. I think that catfish maybe might eat ducklings if they if they can, but I don't know about a full-size duck, but that's a big old catfish. So we'll go ahead and move puppy away. All right, puppy, you can come over here and sit next to this beautiful egg. Oh, look at it. Are you proud? It's your hybrid egg with this duck. I didn't know that you two could have babies, but apparently, because this duck has laid an egg. So there you go, puppy. All right, so we're going to see if we can keep puppy kind of over here, and we're going to have to work with puppy and have it hopefully walk across the lily pads. And then if there are too many holes, like if it's only the big lily pads that they don't fall through, then we're going to have exchange almost all of this with big lily pads and I think grass blocks um, that we can put some of the the like riverside plants or some grass on top of because we did lose the duckling last time so last time we had a duckling over here and we were trying to expand our duck flock so that puppy the duck hi little guy wouldn't be so lonely then unfortunately the duckling drowned <laughs> which I didn't think it happened but it happened so we need to make sure that that doesn't happen and then puppy is also proving how we need to gather up some leaf blocks and we need to kind of enclose this area. Puppy, I know you probably want to go visit with Aster Seed, but you're supposed to stay over in this zone now. So we need to kind of make it so Puppy will stay over here too. So, and then also I've been getting so much duckweed from this duck. It digs up so many things. And I've also somehow managed to attract a couple more leeches on me, which is so nasty. But that's okay, because then we have more duckweed to be able to spread out on the ground, or on the ground, on the water over here. And it looks lovely. And we also have some water gardens that are spreading over here too, which is also very exciting. These water gardens can open up into, let's see, can I put it down anywhere? Oh no, I guess I can't. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah, these water gardens can actually open up, I guess I can only put them on the ground, into all sorts of interesting cranberries, and I think you can get like small green fish from them, and you can get rice from them, and snails from them. So I really love these water gardens, and I would love to see them spread some more. In fact, we should go check on the water garden farm that we have on the other side in a little bit. But for now, puppy, where are you going? For now, I need to go and get Puppy the Duck and bring him back to where we were at. Aster Seed! Aster Seed! Where did my mallard go? Oh my gosh, I just turned my back for like two seconds! Puppy! Oh my goodness, Puppy! I need to get the other dogs? I need to get the other dogs. Puppy is not a dog. Puppy's a duck. Oh my gosh! I literally just turned around for like two seconds and where did Puppy go? Oh, there you are! Oh my gosh, puppy, you came back. I was so worried. Okay, so clearly I need to go ahead and block off that area before I get myself totally confused. So let's come over. I did bring down some oak leaves. It's always helpful to be prepared. And I had quite a few lovely oak leaves that we can use from my plant shed, actually. So let's come over. We'll take out some of the corner pieces with the, those pieces of dirt just to kind of make it look a little nicer. And then we'll just come down, you know, casually, casually make it look... Ooh, actually, I should probably remove whatever the heck this thing is. I don't know what this is, so we can use Chickpickety, actually, to dig this up and see what is this block. This is lithium ore, and you use it to make lithium dust, which makes charcoal dust, or a lithium ingot, which makes a lithium block. Um, I don't know what you can use lithium for, though, but I might as well just go ahead and gather it up. All right, and do I have any dirt? I do indeed have some dirt that I can just put right down there. There we go. And that'll grow into grass in the future. Oh, I guess, do I really? Ah, I need to make sure that they don't climb back out, don't I? 
Hmm, interesting. All right, there we go. There we go. I'm sure that'll work out. There, so you can kind of make it look like a nice little, a nice little hedge fence area without actually making a hedge fence. There you go, and see, we've got a little block on the top there so that puppy can't just like climb its way out of here. Ta-da! All right, that'll actually work out decent. Hey, Tate, do you want to scooch over just a little bit, my boy? I could probably put like the hedge fencing this way. And look at this. Yeah, look at that. And we can come over here, remove that piece. And now it just like looks on the really cool fossils that are up above. We can even remove this piece. Neat! Look how nice that looks. Leaves make everything better. That is basically the rule of life. So don't let anyone ever tell you differently. And everybody should be happy now because this is definitely as raw as you can possibly get for building exhibits. So there we go. I know we have not built exhibits lately, but there's just so many things to do. So many adventures to go on. All right, there we go. And there we are. Okay, and is Puppy still here? Yep, Puppy's still spinning around in place. Nice! All right, so we've kind of like isolated this side a little bit. And let's see, yeah, you can't really get up here anymore. So that should keep Puppy from wandering over there. Now the question is how to keep Puppy, we can kind of make like, a casual fence, you know what I mean? Like, like that. You know, just like, oh, I'm sure he won't, he won't wander this far sort of fence. Maybe we can even like add in like a little bush over here. You see, you see? Ooh, this is looking so nice. Ah, I'm out of leaves. <laughs> I've used up all the leaves making little decorative bushes. I have no regrets, really, because it looks so much nicer now, but now I have to go and get more leaves. So, Tate, what are you doing? Tate, Tate, you're gonna drown if you stay there, Tate. You're you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna worry me, Tate. All right, let's have you go ahead and sit down. I need to feed you some uh, chicken. So I think I've, uh, it's not duck. So I'm sure puppy's okay with that. Or you know he probably wouldn't be okay with it. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. All right, and we probably want to make a little path coming into here. And we also want to block this area off. So do I want to make oh some more duckweed? Geez, you are really a productive little duck, aren't you? And that's actually very helpful because then we can come over here and just add more duckweed. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. So we're making it a little bit more enclosed. I don't know if we need to make like a fence or anything like that. But let's try again, puppy. All right. So if I come and put you over next to this nest, uh, probably the next place I need to block off is this right here. And I do have a couple carpenter's gates. Um, so I guess I could just go ahead and put down like three carpenter's gates. Ha <laughs> ha! I predicted that! other duck. So the other duck was coming to check this out, but I blocked him in time. Um, and then what should I use? Should I do stone? I kind of feel like I should use a carpenter's block, which, or not a carpenter's block, excuse me, a carpenter's hammer on this and make it into like that and then do stone across the side and put a stone piece here so that we can have a nice little stone entrance and then we'll put some seeds on top so it's a nice mossy stone entrance. Chick Pickety, we get to use you again. I'm so happy. Chick Pickety is our silk touch pick. It has been so long since we have had some proper silk touch so this is making me feel so much better about being able to get some of our decorative things done. All right, maybe come over here. All right, there we go. If only I had more leaves, I could put more leaves right there. I love putting leaves down. The leaves really do make everything better. What is this pretty boar? Come here, you. What is that? I guess it was just a stone? No, it was a fossil ore, I guess. Interesting. Hey, Aster Seed. Don't worry, I'm not gonna dig a hole right out from under you. All right, so there's this little barricade. Puppy is right back in that spot. So it looks like we need some more lily pads. That is going to be the next step, lily pads and leaves. So let me see. I'm gonna put all these things away so we can put those in here. Mm -hmm. The lithium ore we can probably take with us. Come here, lithium ore, there we go. And the seeds, we can go ahead and put the seeds down uh, on top of the moss or, on, or to make moss on top of the stone. So the way that works is we step out here and then you grab your seed and your carpenter's block and you go boink and ta-da! Beautiful greenery! I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, and now we've got some watercress. You are one productive little duck. I'm not sure what I'm even going to do with all of this. All right, and puppy keeps splashing around in this part of the water. So what we're going to do is we are going to go and we're going to get some more lily pads. I need a lot more lily pads. And that means, come on puppies, you guys can come with me. 
And that means I may need to do some more work in the zoo. Now, the next question is, hang in there, puppy. What kind of work to do in the zoo? So which one of the zookeepers do I want to go and speak with in order to do some trading? Let's come up and see what Cassidy has. I don't think she has that many squirrels available for adoption right now. So maybe she doesn't need that many supplies. But we may have chipmunks and bunnies in here in the future. So the Walnut Center may start expanding. Oh, there's another wild chocobo. My goodness, I just have them all over the place lately. We, the Wellnut Center may start expanding who it helps. So we could go get the the honey all the way from over at the honeybee apiary that we've got going. Um, I could get apples from our farm, but that's really kind of reaching a far way away. Hmm, I could get a bunch of oak saplings. Well, that would be multi-purpose because then I could get some oak leaves and oak saplings. So that may work out pretty well. All right, let's go check out the other side of the, the lake then because I actually think that sounds like a good idea. I should have lots of oak saplings. All right, come on, puppies. In fact, we'll go around. I'm going to climb down here and we will experiment with our new path. So we'll go across the bridge. Hey, puppy, hang in there. All right, and there's our awesome apricot delight planted by Hayden, one of our new trees. And then this is the other side of the path. It opens up into a beautiful like uh, dirt wall. And we're gonna be clearing this dirt wall away and making the path kind of loop around the entire area of Swan Lake shortly. So let me go ahead and clear this up. There we go. And there, ooh, amylite shells, I love it. Oh, we got something cool, saffron bulbs, awesome. All right, let me clear those out of the way too. And then let's see. Very nice, okay. I just kind of wanted to make it so it wasn't just a wall and we'll have to figure out how we're gonna walk around it or if we're going to like kind of push it down. Is this a maple tree? What? Is this like a wild maple tree or something like that? Huh, I didn't know I had one of those over here. So that's pretty cool. All right, I might need to plant a few other maple trees over here. That would be neat. Hey, Alexis, maybe I have something I can trade with you. Do you do zookeeper experience points? No, you actually, because she's a wand she's not a zookeeper, and she's not an employee. She's just a wandering botanist who's quite cool. I heard a duck. I heard a quack. Alexis, <gasps> it's another duck. Ha! Huh? Ha! Oh, so cool! Get in my little safari net! We just found another duck in our own backyard. Alexis, that was awesome! Thank you! That was so cool! Do I have anything I can trade to her? Hmm. Because I think we actually need wooden coins. That's right. So do I have anything? I could make trail mix. I could make maple syrup pancakes. Empty eggshells. Nest. Leather boots. I could go fishing. Oh geez, I thought the puppies climbed in her campfire and it gave me a heart attack. I could go fishing for some leather boots if I really kind of wanted to like fish, haha, -ha, for some wooden coins. But you know what? Trail mix actually sounds kind of interesting. All of a sudden, I sort of want to make you a bunch of trail mix, Alexis, and buy the lily pads with that. So hang on just a second. That sounds pretty cool because we've been helping out a lot with the zookeeper work. Oh, look at all that. We can use all sorts of different seeds. So many different kinds of seeds and raisins and oh, chocolate bars. <laughs> that would actually, that would actually put a damper in my plans because that would require the butter and that's just, oh boy. All right, Alexis, that's going to be... Is that something? You know what? I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to gather up. I mean, what else do I need for trail mix? I want to see this again. So we've got a few options. We need to make chocolate bars for one thing. I think I have a few chocolate bars. And then if we have roasted pumpkin seeds and raisins, we can make a ton of trail mix. And I think that sounds a little bit safer than using a whole bunch of random seeds and definitely a lot cheaper than using the actual nuts. Cause well, I probably have a lot of peanuts, but the nuts you have to harvest from trees and they're a lot harder to get our hands on. But we can use basically any type of seed, like a lot of them, raisins and chocolate, or I think we can get a lot of roasted pumpkin seeds and raisins and chocolate bars so I want to do this let's make some trail mix let's make some really fun trail mix and then we'll have some wild meals with Alexis too 
because I can get some sauteed fiddleheads if I come back with ferns or bring her some mushrooms and get some mushroom skewers, which would be so yummy. Oh, because look, there's mushrooms right here. Okay, so let's go up top and we're going to make Alexis some trail mix. <gasps> In fact, because we're making this trail mix while we are trying to set up the duck exhibit, I wonder if we should give it like some sort of funny duck name. So I've got to think about that. So if you guys have any suggestions for something that could be like a funny name, for trail mix that has to do with ducks, like duck tracks, duck quacks, duck quacks, <laughs> duck quacks trail mix. That actually is kind of cute. I like it. All right. So come on, puppies. I'm going to have all of you guys come out here and you can sit with the coconut crabs. <laughs> oh, goodness. I still need to do something with them. Oh, yes, sit. Lily, Tate, come. Come on. Come on, Lily. Come on, Tate. All right, sit. Sit, don't worry, we'll be going back out shortly. I just need to make some chocolate, which is not something I ever really dabble in. I think I have a whole bunch of chocolate stored up. Ladies, how are you doing? All right, good on the sugar, my dears. Primrose, I do hope you'll share with Bluebell. You appear to have far more chocolate than your sister. Um, And I think maybe I have some chocolate in here. I have, this is all of the named food that you guys have helped me name. And that's really, really fun. And then let's see, any, that's a brandy bottle. Yeah, I have chocolate chocolate like stuff stuff that's been made from chocolate but I don't have actual chocolate so let's see and this is the duck so I'm very excited about that so we need to make some chocolate bars and this is the first time I think I really made a chocolate bar that I can remember so let's see how much cocoa powder we have this may be a little bit ridiculous all right, we've got some cocoa beans and we've got some cocoa powder, not to be confused with ground cinnamon. And so I'll take all of these, let's see, and I think I need to use the mortar and pestle. There it is. The mortar and pestle in order to turn all of the cocoa beans into the mor the um, the cocoa powder. All right, and we're gonna have to think about this, you guys. I'm gonna need to get some more cocoa beans. So we might need to make some sort of little chocolate farm, which is definitely a great prelude to being able to give the little chips the chocolate making factory that I really want to give them. Oh, who knew we would get over here just trying to make our ducks happy? That cracks me up. All right, in the oven, I should probably have, oh, I don't have any, any raisins in the oven, but I have a whole bunch of raisins in here. So we'll grab those raisins and then let's see. Now I need to make the actual chocolate, yeah? All right, so that's going to require, let's see, the milk. So any kind of milk will probably do, but we need butter. So that means that we need the salt and silken tofu and saucepan. So that means I need a lot of salt <laughs> again. Thankfully, I have a lot of fresh water. Even if my well that I put in my application for isn't built yet, I guess I have to pay for it first. That would make sense. But let's go ahead come over here oops sorry about that don't want to accidentally stick the duck in the pot on the stove no thank you and there we go so we've got a whole bunch of salt from boiling down some water so that part's done let's move the duck over here and i still have this trout just sitting over here what am i going to do with it all right put that away and then now we need the silken tofu and the milk so let's see soy milk and silken tofu I'll take all of that and then we'll come over here. Oh, and I think we need a saucepan. Yeah, yeah. All right, saucepan. So now we have the salt. There's the saucepan. Here's the soy milk and here's the silken tofu. That didn't make butter. I, I'm missing something. I have forgotten a vital step somewhere along the line. So hang on. Like I'm looking at it and I'm like, that doesn't look right to me somehow. So let me see, butter, 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 butter. Heavy cream or silken tofu saucepan. Oh, okay, hang on. Silken tofu, come here. And soy milk. And wait, salt? Hang on, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I just saw something and it was supposed to be butter and I don't think it made butter. Recipe, silken tofu and salt. Heavy cream, silken tofu salt. Yeah, silken tofu and salt. So. Oh, pfft. I keep trying to stick the soy milk in there. I wonder why on earth I was trying to do that. All right, who knows? All right, so let's grab the salt, move the saucepan, and now I need to make chocolate. I had no idea we would be making a chocolate trail mix for ducks today. Not to feed the ducks, mind you, but so that we can get lily pads for ducks. So there's the chocolate bar again. Ah, oh, much better. All right. So there's our milk, and then here is our butter, and then here is our cocoa. 
And why did that not work? Hmm. That would make chocolate milk. Hmm. Hang on now. What's going on here? Are you needing to be a specific type of milk? Will you refuse to do soy milk chocolate bar? Is that what you're telling me? Milk bottle, milk bucket, fresh milk, soy milk, cocoa powder, butter. Yeah, okay, cocoa powder, soy milk, uh-huh, butter, uh-huh. All right, you guys, hang on. I think we've got a little bit of a hiccup here, but I think we can get around it. I just made a bunch of fresh milk instead with the... <laughs> okay, I think the fresh milk is broken. You shouldn't be able to infinitely divide your fresh milk, so I think there's an issue there. All right, this should make a chocolate bar, so give me just a second, you guys. All right, somehow that fixed it. I just picked up the saucepan. Did I forget to put the saucepan down? Okay, well, I put the saucepan down again, and now it works. So now we have 54 chocolate bars, and somehow I divided my milk, and I don't, and that's definitely not gonna have, like, supposed to happen, actually. I know for a fact that much milk is not just supposed to, like, infinitely divide from itself. So we'll take care of that later. But for now, we can go ahead and we've got raisins, and we've got the chocolate, and and now we just need to get a bunch of seeds. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love the random things we end up doing. And I love cooking, so that's actually very relaxing to kind of wind down after a long day. Salted sunflower seeds are one of our options or roasted pumpkin seeds. That may take a little while, I just realized, to roast all of those pumpkin seeds. I don't think I had them like prepared. So let's see what we've got downstairs. We'll see if we have any pumpkins. Would that be in staple crops? Uh, here's some pumpkins. Are those really all the pumpkins I have? Oh my goodness, those are really all the pumpkins I have, you guys. Well then, huh. I do have a few peanuts. So there's a few peanuts there. A lot of potatoes. Here's some peanuts. There's enough peanuts to be able to do something here. So let's look at the trail mix again. And can I just put down like two peanuts? I think I can just put down like two stacks of peanuts. So let's just grab more peanuts. And note to self, I'll have to have our wonderful Aki actually work on a larger peanut field for the autumn season. We do need to go ahead and make the autumn garden pretty soon, but I have to move the crabs first. So life gets a little interesting. And if I put down two things of peanuts, trail mix! Yay! 54 trail mix. Just like that, you guys. Well, there you go. That makes me pretty happy. We managed to make a ton of trail mix. So now we'll have enough to snack on. I can probably actually put some of the trail mix into the picnic pickup baskets too and we can rename it so we need a really fun name for our trail mix so i need you guys help on that also let me feed the puppies really quickly all right hang on guys ostrich carrot and sweet mash there you go lily come oh my gosh lily lily i can't feed you if you swim through the ground it's just it's not it's not how it works it's just not fair oh let me put away the saucepan before i rush off with leeches and trail mix and saucepans like sticking out of my pockets and let me throw these oh somehow i got a coconut let me throw all of these things in here there we go i'll throw the fresh trout in there too because why not and let's go downstairs all right so now we have the trail mix let's go ahead and trade these to our good friend do do do. But we're gonna go down and trade these to our wandering botanist. And now she should have plenty of food so that she can continue to have snacks to eat while she continues to wander around the trails of Zudesia Zoo. So much to do in the zoo. And we can go and buy tons of lily pads from the elven gardener who sells many, many lily pads. And I think it'd be worth it to go ahead and we'll grab puppy. Alexis, Alexis! We'll go ahead and grab puppy and yes, oh, it's such a pain to make the trail mix that you actually get a ton of money for trail mix, but I don't think we're going to end up using all of the trail mix. Whoops, sorry, Alexis. I didn't mean to try to punch you by accident. We're not going to end up using all of the trail mix because this would be, this would make us so rich. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Look at all this. We're going to turn around and we are going to put this away. So let me clear up some of this stuff. Oh, leeches. How did I get so many leeches? Who knows? Who knows? We're gonna put these things away and the fishing rod away. I don't really need my sword right now. It's pretty peaceful at the moment. The maple syrup I can probably trade. Trail mix I'll tuck away, but that's fantastic to know that we have a whole bunch of delicious trail mix. And it actually was a little bit of a, of a headache to make. So, all right, and let's go ahead and snag some of these mushrooms. And I wanna trade some of the mushrooms. Let's grab these. 
and let's grab these. And I want to trade some of the mushrooms to Alexis at her little campfire so I can have some mushroom skewers. Yummy! All right, a whole bunch of mushrooms from a mushroom skewer. So I'll have a little bit of food to eat for later. And let's go test out Puppy. We've, we've got a duck to deliver to Puppy. And then let's go test out Puppy on the different lily pads to make sure that Puppy will be safe. All right, and we'll have to make sure. Oh! There's a little like area over here. That's so cool. This could be a little overlook for looking at the ducks. That's neat. All right, puppy. Oh, puppies. Like all puppies. Be careful. All right. And oh, and we just got some mud from the duck. And let's go ahead and put down the new duck. Yay. So at least we have a couple of those kinds of ducks. And puppy, come here. Come here. Come here, puppy. Come here. Oh my goodness. All right, gotcha. And let's test out. Can you can you guys walk on lily pads? All right, it looks like they can only walk on the big lily pads, I think. So, puppy. Come here, puppy. I'm going to have to block off that side, too. But can you please test this out for me, too? Yes! Okay. So, it looks like for a second there, puppy was actually walking on the big lily pad. Yes. Okay. So, we need to go through. And I think... No, he fell down again. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Hang on. I need to do a quick experiment where I move lily pads. All right. Puppies, you better not have picked that up. Like actual puppies. Not puppy the duck puppies. Because I need those. All right. And then let's do a bit of an experiment. Puppy, there you are. And we're going to see if this works or not. All right. Watch out. Okay, puppy. All right. Doing good? <gasps> Doing good? Okay, so if I get just one type of lily pad, then I think it'll work. But the small ones will not work and will cause him to fall through the water. So we'll just save the small lily pads and we'll save those things for over here. Because that's where the adult ducks, who are big enough, can probably walk over here and be okay. And then we will... Puppy, do be careful. Please don't get stuck under there and drowned. And then we will save this area for little grass blocks and normal lily pads so that the ducklings and the ducks can walk across here and be safe. And then we also need to get some more oak leaves so that we can enclose this area a little bit with bushes. And that'll just naturally, hopefully, keep most of the animals in this side. And then we'll have to figure out, like, as long as they... I mean, I guess I could make this too high, at least. And then they should stay over here. Puppy, where did you go? I'm sure puppy... Man, that duck. It really... It just vanishes so quickly. Puppies, for crying out loud! Okay, come on. All right, we've got to get away from the water. I have a few can't-swim dogs with me. <laughs> All yeah. All right. Woo! All right, so we have some delicious new trail mix. We have a little bit of work done on our newest exhibit. I am pretty excited to see continued work done. Oh, and we need to go find a whole bunch of seeds so we can put a ton of moss look. Oh, and a ton of actual moss too. But a ton of this mossy look over on that bridge. So everything should turn out pretty good. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Lots done in the zoo. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.